So, still at home, still not out on the trains or the tube, but it occurred to me a couple of weeks ago I made a video about how much of the underground is underground. I used a clip where I spoke about a wall that you could see over, which is my evidence that the subsurface lines of Notting Hill Gate was in the open. And I thought, why don't I just do more of that? So here's what we've got. Uh, I'm going to capture uh, me zooming around uh, on my main PC here and I'm going to take you on a tour of uh, where you can see the underground from overground or at least from street level or street view as it literally is. I'll give you an example. If I zoom in here uh, on the district line just north of Southfields, you follow the line up and you get to a point there. You can see it says Cromer Villas Road. If I drop the yellow dude there and then spin around and then uh, come along that road, come along that road, come along that road. Can you see here, hang on, what's this with the wall and the fence there? That's right, go once more again and hey, look, there is the arch of a railway tunnel and sure enough, that is the district line, uh, that is the Wimbledon branch of the district line that you can see at this point here, if you would appear over this wall, then you could see down onto the underground down below. So uh, there's a whole section, uh, sort of like the western side of the circle line, as in the district line up from Earl's Court to Edgware Road, where loads of it pops out into the open. That is, when they dug the subsurface lines, and the subsurface lines of the Metropolitan, uh, the HNC, the Circle, and the District, it's because they were all originally steam railways, and they needed points at some point to just let the steam out up uh, into the open air out above. All other uh, lines and modern tube lines are what they call deep level tube lines and are dug many feet slash meters down below. But if we go here uh, onto Google Maps, so uh, we'll just flip up, we'll do a quick one, we'll zoom in on uh, as, as a half an example, it's not the best, but they get better at Fulham Broadway. So there's Fulham Broadway tube where they've now built over it with a shopping centre. But if you zoom in uh, here to that road there, we'll just drop the yellow thing there. Uh, oh, look. Uh, cycle high is still in blue and not in red. Uh, that wall there with that fencing, if you would appear over that wall through that fencing, we could like hold your phone up and take a picture, you would see the tube tracks down below. But there's some much better examples coming up. Uh, we go north full of Fulham Broadway. Uh, if you're uh, perhaps you go uh, a season ticket holder or I just uh, you go to football matches, uh, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge on the northern side of the station, there you can see there's the tracks here, and from that road there, if I drop the yellow dude there, you can see here uh, all of that, that wall on the other side of it, maybe standing those blue bins. I like the fact that Chelsea, blue is the colour, has blue bins. Uh, yeah, you can see the district line down below. That's where it curves, it goes underground, uh, pops up into the open just here. I like the fact that if I go into satellite view here, just to the west of Brompton Cemetery, uh, you can see there's an overground train there, a five car train. But on the day that this satellite imagery was taken, that to me does not look like a regular tube train. That looks like an engineering train with some maybe battery operated locomotives right about there. I just saw that as a fun thing uh, that I thought I'd throw in. Right, it then goes up through West Brompton Station. Uh, we'll carry on. It curves around through Earl's Court and it then curves left uh, in towards High Street Kensington. I mean, this is a fun game that you can play anyway, you know, looking at tracks and the underground on Google Street View. I mean, you can see here, uh, anyway, at Earl's, Earl's Court. Uh, where is it? Earl's Court is there. Uh, if I flip on to satellite view there, you can clearly see here this this line of trees. You see how that's in a curve? That's where the underground is. Over here, oh look, that's the circle line all out in the open. It comes from Gloucester Road there and it curves around here. So uh, if we go onto that access road there, sure enough, the other side of this wall, all the way down, all that wall, just poke your head over that wall, you can see that's where the circle line uh, curves round uh, in between uh, Gloucester Road going round uh, into High Street Ken. So yeah, High Street Ken station is there, it then carries on up towards Notting Hill Gate. Again, what's really good here is to flip onto satellite view and you have to imagine where the line of the railway is. It is sort of along here, along here, and you can zoom in, you can go, can I see the trains, can I see the railway, can I see where the track is, and sure enough, <gasps> look what's right there, there's a bit there at Bedford Gardens, drop your man just about there. Boom, sure enough, that is the district line running right down there, 20 foot down. Looks to me like we can see it from that side as well. So if we just flip, zoom in and go to that point there, 
and spin around. Oh, you can see there, look, it's clearly covered over. That's heading north, but let's face south. And sure enough, the tube is down there. This pigeon here, for example, has got an excellent vantage point of the district line trains that are running down below. Uh, let's carry on. We'll flip back to map view. We'll head up here. So it gets to Notting Hill Gate, and this is the clip that I used in the how much of the underground is actually underground the other week. It's here on the Kensington Place. If I drop the guy there, uh, flip round, zoom along, you can see there already that's the wall on the right hand side and there is, if you zoom in, that is uh, Notting Hill Gate uh, subsurface tube station. There's a train in on the southbound platform. The southern end of those platforms are here just behind that brick wall in the open so you can literally, I'm quite tall, I'm over six foot, you can sort of lean up and sort of shout hello down to the people waiting on the platforms down below. Uh, right, um, heading north out of Notting Hill Gate and Notting Hill Gate uh, it does an immediate curve to the right hand side which is the reason why Bayswater and Queens, uh, Queensway stations are so close together. And you can see here, there's a bit of a curve there. It's even better if you flip into satellite view because you can zoom in, you can zoom in, you can zoom in and go, hello, what's that just there? Yep, yeah, that is some railway track. So drop your yellow guy just there. There it is, there's the wall. What's amazing about this, you see this tree here? This must be a very special, significant tree because in the next zoom along, it's been blurred out. Obviously some kind of uh, security thing there going on with that tree. Uh, but over that wall, that is the tube uh, down there. Uh, if you were to peer over that wall, stand on tiptoes. Uh, if you're a small one, maybe stand on your dad's shoulders. Uh, you can see what's going on there. So zoom back out again. Uh, the railway now travels east towards Bayswater and there's quite a few bits uh, down here again switch to satellite view and you can see there zoom in there we go there we go there's the station but if you just drop the uh, the street view yellow to there railways down there on one side and then boom doubles you can stand in one place and see two the railway is down there on the other side that's another place where you can see it we'll keep going next we rather famously get to uh, the thing which you should all uh, all tube geeks should know by now that is the Leinster Gardens false facade that is where they knock down some houses uh, and they replace them with a false facade you can see here this hotel here it's got actual windows uh, and this house here has got actual windows uh, and this here is just painted in those are not real windows because that is a fake house because if you go to around the back which is just about there click there we go that's the behind uh, of, of the fake house. There used to be a house here, they demolished it and they just put in like a, like a uh, maybe like a couple of feet thick full facade and down there you've got uh, the underground running uh, east out of Bayswater heading uh, for Paddington. Uh, come back to our view again and yeah and there's a couple of places, a lot of it here has now been built over heading towards Paddington. There's Paddington Station, it's in there somewhere, so is there something there if we maybe drop the Street View chat on London Street. Uh, what you can see here, can you see how here, this internet cafe, there's a building above it. Uh, this Aberdeen Steakhouse, a building above it. Pats and News, nothing above it, because if you were that tall that you could peer over the roof of Pats and News, you would see the underground down below. That is clearly where the underground is coming along there uh, in that gap. Burger King, don't care, just built straight over it. Um, let's keep going. There's one more up here, and I can never remember which one it is. I th it might be that road. If we just drop our guide just about there. There we go, you can see here, there's the wall. Underground is over there. The best one is that uh, there's a place here, and again, by this bike rack, uh, you can stand in these bins and peer over, uh, and that is absolutely the underground down there. Uh, and that is one of those places where you're traveling along the tube and suddenly it like breaks out into the open and you get a bit of uh, a bit of sunlight or maybe like a bar of mobile signal for a second. Uh, and then it gets into uh, Edgware Road, goes through Paddington and gets into Edgware Road. There's a kind of a half one. Um, it's only because I like the fact that it's sort of the forgotten entrance to Edgware Road on the north side there of the A40. Uh, there's a way into Edgware Road Station. Hang on, let's just click along here, click along here, click along here, click along here, go along, go along, go along, go along, go along. There it is, that's like the forgotten entrance. That's not the main entrance, that's the rear entrance to Edgware Road Station. And it's only worth pointing out, because at any point here, if you would appear over this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall here, this wall here, this wall here, uh, the tube is down there uh, below. So there we go, it's a fun game you can play. Uh, zooming around on Street View in London, trying to find places where maybe you, the subsurface railway, pops out into the open. And somebody did leave me a comment uh, the other week saying that when I was talking about 
where that happens at stations, does that count as a station being out in the open? And I had no idea, so thank you if you were the nice commenter that left me this comment, but apparently over here at Blackfriars, uh, there's a tiny bit uh, where you can see the tracks down below. So at this point here, I switch onto satellite view and zoom in to Blackfriars Station, zoom into Blackfriars Station, zoom into Blackfriars Station, where is it, 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 where is it? There it is, just there. Not this, these are the Thameslink tracks, but that there in that little gap there. That's the district and circle line running along the bottom path of the circle of Blackfriars. That is it, that is how to spot the subsurface underground from overground from the street, from street view. Thanks.